Hello everyone, Chaos Productions back here with another video. It's been a little while, but today I plan on doing an update video on my military base. So let's get started. The front right here, I've got these dead end signs along with some uh, physical barriers to prevent anyone from uh, breaking in. Once you do get past the front gates though, there is a um, a lift, so um, vehicles that are authorized can pass. There is also a guard room right here. And then I also have a couple guards up in these towers. Right behind that, I have a Brick Designers MRAP. This is the six by six version. And then um, I have my headquarters right behind that. I have an Abrams tank, a couple more soldiers patrolling. And then over here on this left side, I have the infirmary. Um, for wounded soldiers and injured uh, personnel so you can see a little bit of what's happening right here uh, we got some um, doctors dealing with uh, a rodent infestation and also uh, hazmats um, handling some radioactive material well, we can see there's a uh, toucan up in this in this tree I got a little pallet and a bunny out here in quarantine zone for some more detail. And then moving on over here, I got a couple of birds just uh, around here. And then right here I have the Venom, which is a Brick Mania kit. Um, this was actually my first Brick Mania kit and uh, I really am glad I got this one. Looks great. So, um, and then that one's right in the front of the base along with a couple of UN soldiers just guarding behind these sandbags. Uh, we got a little porta potty and also just um, a bus right here, which is actually unloading some prisoners um, with bags over their heads. They're about to get, they're going to the interrogation room, which is down there. Um, however, this bus couldn't pull up over there because there's a roadblock, and I'll get into that. Um, and then right over here, I just got uh, some ground crew soldiers uh, working on some um, unloading of crates and stuff. So they got the necessary tools in the back of this service Humvee. And then also here's the Pave Hawk with uh, a couple of other things like this forklift. And then also the Air Force Tower, which I do plan on redoing um, in tan just because um, the way it looks right now, I'm not really happy with it. So um, I do plan on updating that. Coming over this way, you can see right here in the front of the base, I got um, some Amish guys. Uh, walking on the outside um, and also this don't tread on me sign along with another uh, snake that has um, or actually another animal that has gone rabid so you can see and then um, over here I got a couple of my Vietnam vehicles my M113 and all, this isn't militarily accurate but I have all of my favorite things in the base um, so that's why you see a lot of these Vietnam vehicles along with these right here. Here's an updated Humvee I made uh, with a brick designer's turret and some other details on there, including the Rhino on the front right here. Um, this is what's causing the roadblock up here. So you can see the police are surrounding these, um, escaped criminals, um, who are also doing some illegal substance use right in front of the base, which is not a really smart idea because they're obviously going to get caught. So the entire police force uh, was deployed, and it actually is causing a roadblock right now for the Marines. So you can see Jesse Pinkman right here is getting away. Uh, right here is the military police headquarters. Uh, he's got a couple packages waiting in the front, and also the no parking signs um, from Citizen Brick. And then moving back over here, got a couple just bikes and then my two Brick Mania Hueys, um, which also were a couple of my first kits that I got along with the Venom. Um, and then I have a couple, I have a couple Humvees on the outside of the base just guarding. So I forgot to show this one as well, um, but they're just on the outside outskirts. And then over here, I have James Bond. I have... Dom from the Fast and Furious and this other custom dude just chilling out here on the outskirts of the base. Um, and then, so they got the golf cart. I know this is also inaccurate, but um, where else am I going to put them? And then got a dog right there on a leash. A couple more Vietnam soldiers and another bus. 
from brick designers and i just like the look of them so much so that's why i have them in my base uh um, and also because i'm running out of room elsewhere and then over here i have just a little blackbird with some soldiers getting ready to uh deploy um coming this way in the back of the firing base or this is the um the shooting target practice so you can see we have a couple guys back here um doing some target practice right here and then this is also the bar they all have interiors so um if you guys want a video on the interiors of all these buildings i do plan on doing that um but specifically uh not in this video and then um uh, coming back this way um sorry if it keeps losing focus my um i switched to a new camera so i have to keep focusing it in for some reason but right here i have the m777 with the um, howitzer and these ones are brick mania design you can see there are a couple marines on the outside right over here here's the ammunitions for that and then i got another mrap 6x6 along with um i forgot to show there's an mrap 4x4 over there i'll get to that um but then we got a couple more humvees along with another porta potty and some other vehicles including another abrams here's some training for the troops so they can go up here uh and then we got some so we got some more humvees over here this is where kind of they're all parked uh so we got some of the um camel humvees we got some of the special forces humvees we got a couple of more tan ones some black ones and then we got some up armored humvees with uh these ones are with a new turret as you can see and then um we got over here we got a couple mb240 field trucks Norwegian fuel trucks and then um, a secret service car and this is because President Biden right now is in critical condition so they have to rush him to the emergency helicopter to get him flown to a, a medical facility because he fell off his bike and going back this way we have um, a couple of my uh, SWCC uh, navies or Navy SEALs um, here's brick manias and then TMCs on this side. And then we got a couple more brick mania Humvees. So the medical Humvees and, uh, and so on back here. I just have a couple extra cars parked cause I don't have room elsewhere, but, um, and then also here's another secret service car. This one's a custom one. And then we got a uh, Chinook along with an outdoor gym. So you can see the guys lifting weights. Um, drinking their water, staying hydrated. And then we got the SWAT team, um, or I wouldn't really call it SWAT, but they're just um, all blacked out. So these guys are like elite. Um, we're getting ready to go on the Chinook right here on a mission of some sort. We also got some um, guys training right here and another MB240 fuel truck. And I'll get to that side in, in a moment, but um, just gonna continue on the back over here. Got another bird flying. And then you can see my F-35B variant right here flying above the base, actually above the hangar. Um, it's just sitting on this stand right here above uh, all this, indicating that it would be taking off from somewhere along here from a runway. But I don't actually have a runway. Um, and my entire desk right now is currently filled to the max with Legos. Um, so I hope on expanding the space into the room over there uh during this uh christmas so um moving on we got a couple more extra vehicles back here we got one of these i got another one in the garage i got um brick mania's rib uh rigid hull inflatable boat vehicle and that's what those um swccs came with got a custom vehicle that i made and then back here we got some hazardous materials being transported as well as just the shipping side of things so um, we got some toxic chemicals you might recognize those from breaking bad um, some more flammable stuff we got some a ukrainian crate right there and then some uh, rocket launchers right here that were just dropped off from a shipment along with this uh, vehicle right here we got some soldiers and then um we got a black hawk back here along with a radio or not a radio, um, a radar of some sort for communications. And then we got one of these cars um, 
these are like a utility utility jeep sort of vehicle um, they have working suspension and steering um, those are i actually just built those but they're very cool designed by worded out on instagram and then right here i have a brick mania seahawk and i'll get to the other side of that to show it more in detail so um let's let's go over there and show the rest of the base uh, one more thing though i do have a tent right here um just because i thought it looked good and then a couple more soldiers guarding there and then you might notice i do have some field bastions spread around the base um that's just to give it a little bit more added detail um so let's get in to the interior um this is in front of the hangar now you can see i got uh, some more field bastions along with the water supply right there this is also not militarily accurate, but I think it's cool just having some armed uh, guards right here that look like insurgents guarding this part of the base. And then on this side, um, nothing has changed here, but these are all Brickmania um, Special Forces soldiers. Um, another Brickmania kit, another one. This is the Centurion C-Ram right here. A very, very cool kit, by the way. Well, we got an off-road uh, desert patrol vehicle and another special forces Humvee with some uh, Ukrainian forces um, around here. You may notice some of these, uh, like these ones are from Brickmania. And then I got my uh, California uh, fire patrol helicopter. I'm uh, not sure exactly what it's called, but it's basically a Huey in this red, white, and black color scheme, which I find incredibly well done. Um, another Brick Mania kit, but uh, this one's one of my favorites. So uh, these are the crew that I came with. I have them walking a dog right now. And then over here, we got my Brick Mania Cobra, another one of my first kits that I got. A couple Marines guarding on the outside. Uh, we got a couple um, pilots getting ready to board that. And then inside the hangar, we have my Jayhawk, which is in that sweet color between orange and yellow. So it's a very rare color. And I also made a matching um, vehicle back there in the same color to go along with that. And then again, I have a tan truck and another forklift in there. Some more soldiers up here in the front. And then uh, there's a better view of the Seahawk right there. You can see him with his special um, crew right there. And then... Um, this is a Brick Designers um, MATV. However, this one is custom. I built this with uh, out the printed parts packs. I just had all the pieces to make another one. Did a couple extra things. So I added the winch, and then I added the Special Forces design turret on top. Um, these also have working suspension. Um, and then here's the anti-air version. I have another anti-air version and another anti-air version. So. Uh, four MATVs total. We got three MRAPs total. There's the 4x4 four four version. Uh, and you can see there is uh, another Up Armored Humvee right here in black that I made off Brick Mania's design. And then I have a lot of soldiers right here. And I'll get another view of those in a second. But um, these ones are a mix of Brick Mania and the Minific Co. And then back here, uh, we got some ground crew. We got a little Humvee back there. And then we got the Osprey, which is another one of my favorite aircraft, um, along with the M1116, I believe that is, but um, do not uh, hold me to it. I don't remember the name of that vehicle. It's just, it's meant to go into Osprey, and that's why I have that one. Um, and then back here, we got some more TMC guys, along with the Pavehawk, better view of that. And then I didn't show these guys, but these... Um, are all of the TMC Desert Storm minifigures that I have. Uh, every single minifigure that I have in my base is custom, so uh, whether I got the parts from a third-party company, but every one is unique in their own way where I have different heads and different faces, uh, particularly um, different weapons um, and variants on each guy to make them stand out. So you can kind of see I have a little sniper on the roof guarding the entrance and then uh, you can see a little bit more of the behind the scenes right here. Um, this is the interrogation over here. Uh, and then I got another, uh, a couple army guys right there guarding along with a Humvee, um, part of the convoy that's coming in. 
Uh, and then we got the Ghost Hawk, which is suspended a, uh, on a stand right now. So let me go on the other side and show you guys that. Uh, before I do that, though, I do want to show you. I have one more of these um, Utility Jeeps in gray, light gray with the suspension to match with the Osprey. Um, again, designed by Worded Out. And let's go over here and show you guys the um the ghost talk so here it is side view very a uh, very cool kit um the doors on this one do slide open and closed uh as do a lot of the brick mania helicopters that i have now including that one let's see we got that one uh that one and these ones right here um very menacing looking from the front. You can see that it's got the refueling pods on the side and then also some rockets and some mini guns. And then just off the side, I have some of the seals uh, dangling off, um, unloading. So these guys are kind of watching as that goes down. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much, uh, that's pretty much everything that does it for the military base update. Uh, if I miss anything, um, or if you want a particular video, make leave a comment that i can uh do a more in-depth video of anything you guys see here um i know i got a couple requests for this police station so i do plan on doing that but if you guys like the video please leave a like feel um feel free to leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video